Hey you gorgeous, welcome back to Be More Wolf, the blog number four. Thank you very much for taking the time out and joining me. I really appreciate you. If you are an ambitious woman who is looking to be more connected, have a clearer focus and direction, feel more fulfilled and make a bigger impact in the world, then this channel is absolutely for you. If you've enjoyed the content, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for forthcoming videos every week. A couple of things I want to talk to you about this week. First one is the four cornerstones that will lead you to living a more fulfilling life, be able to make more impact in the world, regardless of where you are starting from. The other thing I want to talk to you is about how self-sabotage can be so sneaky, how it can wind its way back in and really stop you from achieving the success it is that you want to achieve in business or life or in your profession. Let's get started. The weekend is always a weekend where I reflect and I think about my book, Be More Wolf, and the content it is that I am going to create to share with you. Now, I was looking at the cornerstones that underpin the foundation of the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox. It is a tool that I have created to help women thrive in all circumstances and to help them predominantly get out of their own way. If you haven't heard about it before, I've left a link below. Do go and check that out. So I was writing away yesterday, and I was thinking about the four cornerstones for the toolbox, and I was thinking, what order do they actually need to go in? So there are four cornerstones that underpin the Conscious Coaching Toolbox, which are embedded throughout the whole of the program. So obviously, I want to share that with you to help you create a more fulfilling life, to help you stop self-sabotaging yourself, second-guessing yourself. And these four cornerstones have shown me that how out of alignment my life has really been, how I've had things the wrong way around, how I've been more driven by external circumstances than I have looking at what's going on in my internal world. I have some notes, so I've got my specs. So excuse me, looking down, I want to make sure I give you the right information so it makes sense and we are on track. So thinking about the four cornerstones, so they are connection, direction, fulfillment, and impact. Now, what's really interesting is when I brought these together, I had them not in that order. That's the order I recommend they go in, connection, direction, fulfillment, impact. But the framework I'd been working from was that I'd put direction before connection and I'd put impact before fulfillment. So let's go through these a little bit deeper one at a time so they make a bit so I can put them in context for you and they make a bit more more sense. So if we think of connection as being connected to ourselves, really understanding deeply what we're about and our connection to the community you know, our significant others, our friends. So connection is really about the internal game. It is about you being solely connected to yourself and the environment around you. If we think of direction in this context, direction is the direction it is that you are heading in. It is also about your in a game. I'll go into a bit more detail in a second about, you know, how I had them the other way around and the impact that has had on me. Fulfillment is about your level of emotional and um, 
physical happiness you know how content are you how happy are you how fulfilled do you feel and again this is fulfillment is an inner game i had i had impact before fulfillment now i have fulfillment before impact now i'm consciously aware of what i've been up to in my head (laughs) and then impact we have I've got as how we want to make an impact in the world with, you know, with our family, significant others, with our friends, with the wider community. So impact is about external. It's the outer game of life rather than it being the inner game of life. So how do we want to touch other people's lives? How do we want to make a difference? You know, what, how do we want to impact on the wider community so it's very much an outer game so the first three cornerstones are all about mastering the inner game of your internal world which then when we want to make an impact is about the outer game so we've got about not boundary we've got a foundation to work from a really strong foundation so i had direction and connection the other way round which meant that my the direction I was heading in was heavily influenced by um by my peers by my family by my belief system by the programming so I had it the other way round I had direction before being fully awake and aware of how it was that I was connected in terms of understanding myself and how I was connected with family and friends and looking at things internally internally about who I was, who I am, you know, how I really like to emotionally connect with people. Because what that then does is it helps you shape the direction it is that you want to head in. Otherwise, you're going in a direction without being, I think, consciously awake of your likes, your dislikes, your personality, what's likely to sabotage your success, the connections and the relationships it is that you really want to have. So I had those two the other way around. Now I have them the other way around. It's a, an, it is a much better alignment in terms of the direction it is that you want to head in. It's a much better energetic alignment okay what else have i got here if i'm not aware of the level of connection to self and others then i could be heading in the wrong direction when i dig deeper take go underneath the skin of it take a closer look at it i realize that Understanding my level of connection I need with myself and others and the world needs to come first. Otherwise, the direction I have described, designed, described, hmm, obviously dyslexic head playing up, not sure, (laughs) is heavily influenced by external circumstances rather than me making conscious decisions in terms of the direction it is that I want to head in. Yes, I think I've covered that. Next, this is also an interesting one as well. Well, it's all interesting because it's about it's about our internal and external worlds. I had impact before fulfillment. And I think this has happened. Well, it has definitely happened because I've always lived in a place of um, survival. Very much not understanding how it is that I could fill my world with abundance, how I could feel fulfilled without um, putting other people first. Fulfillment is about how happy you are, how content you are, how much joy there is in your life. But I was coming at it from the position of how am I going to make an impact? How am I going to get people to notice me? How am I... I was I would basically put my fulfillment in other people's hands and not my own hands and that was because of you know I've got a very traumatic background 
Um, I, and that pushed me into survival mode, always thinking that I needed to survive. So impact would come before fulfillment. But actually, it needs to work the other way around. Because if, you're, if you can't fulfill yourself, you can't rely on external things happening to help you to feel fulfilled. It just, yes, of course, there's going to be things that will that you'll do that will make you feel fulfilled. But I think the fulfillment needs to come again. It's an internal game. It's what's happening to us internally that we take responsibility for rather than projecting it outwards. So fulfill, fulfillment means that I'm putting my happiness in the hands of extra factors if I have it last basically, the impact I'm pushed and desired to make, if I put that before fulfillment, I'm basically putting it in someone's hands. If I make the impact, I won't, I won't, making an impact doesn't guarantee fulfillment. But it does if you make a conscious decision to you know, they say, is your cup half empty or half full? Mine always used to believe below the half mark. Now it flows over with abundance. And part of that is because I've been able to master to get my head around that fulfillment is in my control, not in other people's control. So I get it now. I get that it comes the other way around <laughs> because <laughs> it needs to come before impact connection that deep connection to yourself and your community and the people in your world and then the direction you decide to take comes after that not the other way around again because then you're too heavily influenced by external circumstances and everything that's going on around you so it impacts you more from an out again than an in again so connection how you connected to self direction what direction is it you really want to be heading in and then fulfillment and in a game as well it's about how can you make sure that your cup is always overflowing with abundance and isn't below the halfway mark, which I spent most of all of my life up until recently. And then impact is how you want to make an impact with your family, with your community, in the wider context. So these are the four cornerstones that underpin the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox. So that has been created to help women consciously understand what has been sabotaging their success, what has been getting in their way. Hey, Fang. Oh, I just saw some legs. Oh, there you are. Yeah, what has been getting in their way? way and to really understand why that has been playing out and to put a stop to it to put an end to it so they can create a life that is a is abundant and a life that they really feel fulfilled by so it's about empowering women to thrive regardless of circumstances what i'll do is i will um, put a link below this video so you can go and check it out take a look at it but Okay, when I say to you, which one comes first? Connection, connection, direction, fulfillment, or impact? When you think about it yourself, where, what comes first for you? It's an interesting question because I had to really mull this over and think about it in terms of, okay, which one goes before which one goes before the other? Which one? So as I said, I had um, direction before connection. Now, if I'm not connected to self, I guarantee you I'm going to end up in the wrong direction, unhappy, unfulfilled, and not able to make the impact it is that I desire in my business, in my life, with my significant others. 
So have a think about it. Dip under the skin of it. Let me know in the comments box which one resonates with you or which one, when you think about it, you're like, oh, I don't, I don't get that one. I don't, how do, how, how do I make myself feel more fulfilled? How can I possibly make an impact? It may be that you've never thought about it in this context before. So I wanted to share that with you because it will be going into the book. I am creating a worksheet if you want to get hold of the worksheet. I am giving that out as a gift to the people who are subscribed to get the Be More Wolf book um, for free as a digital download, as a digital copy. That won't be coming out until December of 2021, though. So if you want to get a free copy, just pop your... Just click the link below and then pop your details in and you'll also get a copy of the worksheet as well. And the worksheet is designed so under each category in the order I believe that they should be in for you to create the most fulfilling life that you can with the biggest impact is what I've done is to raise your level of consciousness to become more fully connected to self and awake so you can see what all the influences are that are playing out in your world is that in each section in each heading i have created a list of questions that will now which will enable you to mull over what's going on <laughs> Of course, you can add your own, but I really um, recommend that you follow the questions is I've asked because it will bring you more consciously awake to think about, do I still want this? Is, is this still important to me? Do I still, still want this? So I'd be really interested to get your feedback. Remember, if you like this content, like this video, please do hit the like button and also share with other women in your network. That really helps me out, of course. And remember, absolutely, subscribe. I release new videos every week that are in line with the book Beat More Wolf.